Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 30 of the Iron Man series. PVM month is officially over and it's back to the skilling grind because I do plan on maxing before the end of this year so we need to get to it. Coming on screen now is the new and improved goal list. I know we didn't finish the last one but the 91 fishing goal is a part of the new list in the form of getting the achievement diary cape and as for obtain a raid unique I've been finding it really tough to find motivation to do raids continuously. I do do some here and there but there are just so many other things I'd rather be doing than raids for the moment. I do fully intend to smash raids out at some point in the future. I'm just struggling to find myself wanting to do them now. So I've scratched that off the list but as you can see we have some pretty big new goals here. Mainly construction, that's one I'm most excited to knock out. I want 99 construction as soon as possible. But we do have quite a few skilling supplies stocked up from PVM month and random shit from long before. So I'm going to start digging into all this now to kick things off and I did spend a bit of today crafting some air orbs for all these battle staves and I'm pretty sure these along with my 39 mil cash stack is plenty for 99 construction. So GP wise we are set. We have a dragon implant locked in sight. Come here, you little fucker. What do we get? Oh, yes, that is perfect. I didn't even know they dropped this. Shout out to Liddell for the dragon implant call out. If I can catch it. There we go. What do we get? Oh, that is actually very nice. I am out of seeds. Thank you very much, Liddell. And there is 88 crafting. I realized that a lot of the supplies I had are mainly crafting. I've cut all the gems uh, and I'm working on the hides now. Still have to do the battle staves and that should get us close to 89 if not 89. So that's really nice. Oh shit, it got us to 89 crafting. That is, oh, Zenite rings without a boost. Very nice. Uh, that is the last of the battle staves pretty much. Not much left in the bank crafting wise, might work on some jewellery here just to knock out a little bit of extra XP so I don't have to grind so much at the charter ships for 93, but that was a nice chunk taken out of, I'm happy with that. Picking up 90 crafting now, we can actually boost for the Zenite bracelet now, but I'm going to wait until I'm 93 crafting because I only have one Zenite and I'd rather to torture. But I have enough supplies to probably get through halfway to 91. So I'll use all those up and then we'll just skill hop. You're going to actually see me skill hop in a lot now that we have another goal list. I'm looking to squeeze every little bit of crafting experience I can out of my bank. So we have 96 crystal keys. That's a lot of dragon stones. Shout out to Parathesia for the dragon call out. What do we get? Haha. Uh -huh. We get dragon stones. Oh well, better luck next time, but thank you very much, mate. Wait, we got an elite clue. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. We have that elite casket. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I said we'd get halfway to 91, but uh, I don't know what I was thinking because there is 91 crafting and we still have 1400 molten glass, but I'm pretty sure that is pretty much the end of my crafting supplies for now, but um, 91 crafting, that is a huge chunk taken out of on our road to 93. I cut a few of those gems into bolt tips and we are about to get 93 fletching, well over halfway to 99. Okay guys, something special just happened with us achieving 93 fletching. If you take a look over here, I have myself up on the high scores. If we scroll over to my total level, we are now in the top one thousand iron men that is awesome that is so nice that is oh that is so good i'm extremely happy with that for the last two crafting levels i've decided we are going to be getting it through all this flax we need to spin about eighty thousand flax for 93 crafting the only issue with this is i don't have the astrals or the natures i need sixteen thousand astrals which i can buy super easy but it also, also means I need 32,000 natures, which I can also buy. It's just that they are out of stock a lot of the time. So I'm going to slowly be buying these from the shop. And once we have the runes, we'll knock that out. It'll either be towards the in end of this episode or next episode that we'll pick up that crafting level and knock it off the goal list already. That is my second leaf bladed battle axe this trip. And I just need to say, I'm about to get six hour logged and I've been here 
the entire time. I have gained over 278,000 defense experience, almost a level, but I am running low on HP and prayer, so I'm going to have to leave soon. But um, I haven't left once. I haven't banked. I had one inventory full of monkfish, and I've been here the entire six hours without banking. I just want to stress that because of the Saradome and God Sword. That is fucking nuts. Have a look, because a lot of people question me, but 35 HP, 45. It does work, it just doesn't roll any damage. That is insane. And there it is. We just got six hour logged. Just as a bit of proof that I haven't banked, I started with 1,000 nature runes, and if you have a look over here, we've gained 288 thousand defense experience and this is the first time I've used this OS buddy feature but we killed a total of 729 Kurask in those six hours gaining about 3.3 mil as you can see here the 624 white berries matches up 580 bones matches up uh, 2000 I, I high up some stuff along the way obviously so we gained over 2000 nature runes so that is also very nice and uh Two of the uh, white tops and uh, the two leaf blade battle axes. It has been an, ex an extremely successful trip. I'm going to try and stick around until we get this, this defense level. And then that'll just be the end of it. That would be absolutely insane. Just all due to this Sarodom and God Sword. There is 94 defense and finally 123 combat. We are done. That's all I'm going to do for now. That is a total of 300,000 defense experience in one inventory. Finishing it off with over 600 white berries and 240 papaya fruits. Those were the two main things I wanted from this. Also a juicy 1.2 million cash stack and over 2,000 natures and all these seeds. That was a good fucking session of Curask. Holy shit, you guys. Shout out to TJS right here for calling out my first ever lucky impling. Oi, na 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 na. This is mine, mate. What do we get for the first ever lucky impling? What do we get? <laughs> what was that? Okay, so we ended up getting 54 water runes. I had to watch the clip back. But uh, thank you anyways to TJS for my first ever lucky impling. Thank you very much. Alright, 18 million gold later, we are finished creating all the planks we need. This is actually almost 3 million experience banked and we are only 3.2 million into the skill. So it's pretty much going to double our construction experience. It'll get us about 150k just before 92. There is 86 construction. Uh, it's going to be the same shit, so I'll probably be back when we hit 90. There it is. 90 construction, another 90 skill. They actually updated it about just before I hit 89 to where you don't need to confirm to send your butler. So if I just click one now, he goes instantly. I don't have to click spacebar. It is so fucking nice. That is insane that they updated it just as I was literally doing it. I am extremely happy about that. 91 coming in. We only have 3,700 planks left. That won't be enough for 92. I think I did a little bit more calculations and it's more like 250k away from 92. So what we're going to do is going to use up the rest of these planks and I'm going to go cut some more. And uh, I think a nice goal is 93 construction this episode. So hopefully we can knock that out. The first wood cutting level, 83 wood cutting. I think we'll get about 86 on our way to getting the planks for 93 construction. Oh shit, we passed 200 million experience. Oh fuck, I wanted to take a screenshot of it at 200 million, but the fucking I had this up. I didn't I didn't even know. Oh, uh, anyways, guys, there is 200 million experience on the account. Damn it. There is 85 wood cutting. Just one more level to go. We should bank 93 construction a little before 86, but we'll just get the level anyways, because why not? We need the planks in the future. Finally, 21 hours later, there is 86 wood cutting. For whatever reason, I thought that cutting teaks and getting them made into planks through the butler was 100k XP an hour. 
No fucking idea why, that's just what I thought, but it's actually 55k an hour on average, so already this construction grind is going to take me twice as long as I originally thought. Oh, there is 92 construction, just one more level to go. Just under 9,000 planks. Oh, we can actually make that upgraded pet house without a boost now. That is really nice. There it is, 93 construction. That is where we're going to leave it off for this episode. But one really awesome thing about this level is we can build everything. With the saw and T-boost, I can build every single item in the game. That is fucking nuts. First thing on the list, this large bastard. Five gold leaves, whoa, that is fucking huge. Five gold leaves down the drain. Let's max out the costume room. We can make this with just a saw. Butler is currently making me some tea, just in time for the clip, thank you very much. Now let's drink it and build this motherfucker. Cost me one mil just for that, but that, that looks good. Upgrade the pet house. Alright, we have the max pet house. This is becoming a max house pretty soon. For fashion points, let's build the marble version. Very nice. Alright, let's build this. I don't think we can use the saw for this boost, so we'll use the T. And there we go. I'm honestly sure we have pretty much a max house. What are we missing? 90 rune crafting for that. 50 mil for these. What's this? Uh, alright, so another 4 mil there. I won't worry about that until I get these throne, no, these, uh, thrones. But other than that, I'm pretty sure my house is maxed out. That is fucking unbelievable. Just as I was editing the video, I realised these also need to be filled in to consider the house maxed. This one right here requires 99 smithing, so that means this one requires a ridiculous amount of castle wars, which will all be completed during a completionist series. So those do need to be filled in to consider the house maxed also. Okay, got three caskets this time, dropping the master. We'll start with the easy. Okay, then to the medium. Hey, not bad. And the Elite. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's only worth 238k. It looks like a Dragon Square Shield. Yes, it is. Is that two ornament kits in a row? What the fuck? Let's get the shield out right there. And chuck it on. Very fucking nice. Look at that. Where is my, uh... Where's my fashion scape? Maybe it's in here. There it is. I'm pretty sure it's two in a row. Not 100% sure though, but the set is getting there. That is very nice. I didn't plan to get any more crafting levels this episode, but there is 92 crafting and we can make the Zenite necklace without a boost. I, um, I decided to do it because the shops were extremely generous to me. I was able to buy all the astral runes we needed and I only need another 13,000 natures to uh, to have the amount I need for 93 crafting. So if I pull my finger out, we should have that level towards the end of this episode. So I honestly didn't plan to get it this episode, but here it is. 93 crafting. We can now boost for the Amulet of Torture and we have a shitload of bowstrings to play with. Over 88,000 bowstrings. We have plenty for all our mag magic longbows and new longbows. And honestly, I wasn't going to do my maple longbows, but now that I have bowstrings to waste, there's no point in me not doing them. I can do them whenever, whenever I just want to AFK. And it's about a million or a little over a million fletching XP just sitting here. And it'll make it so I always have something to high elk in the bank because that's a lot of fucking cash there as well. 4.4 mil from nothing pretty much. Holy shit. Second stew. My second fucking stew. And we have the torture. Yes. Stew luck coming in strong there. We have the torture, guys. This is my Slayer gear now. Now, some of you did point out that I still need the Infernal Cape for the absolute maxed out Slayer gear. You were correct, but that is not anytime soon. For, but for now, this is... The ultimate Slayer gear, that is fucking awesome. Oh shit, we just hit 82 runecrafting. I thought I'd get it next inventory. 
But there you go. I'm thinking about hitting one room crafting level an episode until 86 and then let it drop off from there. So I've been about 30,000 experience from this level for a couple of months now. But there is 88 fishing, just thought I'd quickly knock that out. But I honestly feel like more room crafting, so I might knock out another level this episode. Well, I don't know where the motivation came from, but here we go. There is 83 room crafting. That is the last level of room crafting I'll do this episode. Damn. Once again, you have reached the end of another episode. We made a ton of progress this time around. Finally, in the top 1,000 Ironmen, which is bloody awesome. I'm so happy with that. I think we're actually rank 850 now or some shit. We got a lot of levels this episode. So the plan for next episode is to get at least 96 construction. That's why you can see me woodcutting in the background, trying to get a head start on that. But if we head over to the bank for a quick second... We need to go back to Slayer because we are completely out of seeds. All I have to my name are three toad flax. So Slayer is in the books for next episode. Might get close to 99, only 900k off. I don't think we'll get it next episode, but we'll get pretty bloody close. And we might even work on some farming because I need to go to Tithe Farm. And I worked it out for me to get the full outfit and the seed box. It's going to get me around 900,000 experience. So just from that, I'll be almost 99 farming. So we might even do that next episode. But as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.